One. Break. Broke. Two. Buy. Bought. Three. Cut. Cut. Four. Eat. Eight. Five. Fall. Fell. Six. Go. Went. Seven. Hurt. Hurt. Eight. Lose. Lost. Nine. Meet. Met. Ten. Ride. Road. Eleven. Sing. Sang. Twelve. Speak. Spoke. Thirteen. Swim. Swam. Fourteen. Teach. Taught. Fifteen. Write. Wrote. Did they sleep well last night? Listen to the model. Did Emma sleep well last night? Yes, she did. She was very tired. Why? What did she do yesterday? She worked in her garden all day. Do exercises one through eight. You will hear the correct line after you speak. One. We'll begin. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. I was very tired. Why? What did you do yesterday? I studied English all day. Two. We'll begin. Did Rick sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He painted his apartment all day. Three. We'll begin. Did you and your brother sleep well last night? Yes, we did. We were very tired. Why? What did you do yesterday? We washed windows all day. Four. We'll begin. Did Ms. Taylor sleep well last night? Yes, she did. She was very tired. Why? What did she do yesterday? She taught all day. Five. You begin.
Did Henry sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He delivered pizzas all day. Six. You begin. Did Sarah sleep well last night? Yes, she did. She was very tired. Why? What did she do yesterday? She wrote letters all day. Seven. You begin. Did Matthew sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He rode his bicycle all day. Eight. You begin. Did the president sleep well last night? Yes, he did. He was very tired. Why? What did he do yesterday? He met important people all day. Did Robert shout at his dog? Listen to the first model. Did Robert shout at his dog? Yes, he did. He was angry. Listen to the second model. Did Helen sleep well last night? No, she didn't. She wasn't tired. Do exercise one based on the first model. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. Did Howard fall asleep in class? Yes, he did. He was bored. Do exercise two based on the second model. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. Did Amy take the plane to Rio? No, she didn't. She wasn't on time. Do exercises three through eight. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. Three. Did you cry during the movie? Yes, I did. I was sad. Four. Did Brad do well on his exam? No, he didn't. He wasn't prepared. Five. Did Frank and James forget their lines during the school play? Yes, they did. They were nervous. Six. Did you and your sister cover your eyes during the science fiction movie? No, we didn't. We weren't scared. Seven. Did Abby finish her dinner? Yes, she did. She was hungry.
8. Did Timmy drink all his milk? No, he didn't. He wasn't thirsty. How did Marty break his leg? Listen to the model. How did Marty break his leg? He broke it while he was snowboarding. That's too bad. Do exercises 1 through 10. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. 1. How did Greta sprain her ankle? She sprained it while she was playing volleyball. That's too bad. 2. How did Larry lose his wallet? He lost it while he was hiking in the woods. That's too bad. 3. How did Brian cut himself? He cut himself while he was shaving. That's too bad. 4. How did Mr. and Mrs. Harper burn themselves? They burned themselves while they were preparing dinner. That's too bad. 5. How did Stella rip her pants? She ripped them while she was doing her daily exercises. That's too bad. 6. How did your grandfather trip and fall? He tripped and fell while he was getting off a bus. That's too bad. 7. How did Peter poke himself in the eye? He poked himself in the eye while he was talking on his cell phone. That's too bad. Eight. How did Marilyn cut herself? She cut herself while she was chopping onions. That's too bad. Nine. How did Timothy get a black eye? He got it while he was fighting with the kid across the street. That's too bad. Ten. How did Presto the Magician hurt himself? He hurt himself while he was practicing a new magic trick. That's too bad. How to say it? Reacting to bad news. Listen. That's too bad. That's a shame. What a shame. What a pity. I'm sorry to hear that. Difficult experiences. Listen. 
Ms. Henderson usually teaches very well. But she didn't teach very well this morning. In fact, she taught very badly. While she was teaching, the school principal was sitting at the back of the room and watching her. It was a very difficult experience for Ms. Henderson. She realized she wasn't teaching very well, but she couldn't do anything about it. She was too nervous. Stuart usually types very well, but he didn't type very well today. In fact, he typed very badly. While he was typing, his supervisor was standing behind him and looking over his shoulder. It was a difficult experience for Stuart. He realized he wasn't typing very well, but he couldn't do anything about it. He was too upset. The Baxter boys usually sing very well, but they didn't sing very well last night. In fact, they sang very badly. While they were singing, their parents were sitting in the audience and waving at them. It was a difficult experience for the Baxter boys. They realized they weren't singing very well, but they couldn't do anything about it. They were too embarrassed. The president usually speaks very well. But he didn't speak very well this afternoon. In fact, he spoke very badly. While he was speaking, several demonstrators were standing at the back of the room and shouting at him. It was a difficult experience for the president. He realized he wasn't speaking very well, but he couldn't do anything about it. He was too angry. Listening. Listen and choose the correct answer. One. Did you do well at your job interview yesterday? Two. Were your children tired last night? Three. What was he doing when he broke his leg? Four. Did you finish your dinner last night? Five. How did your husband lose his wallet? Six. What was your supervisor doing? Seven. Did you do well on the exam? Eight. What happened while you were preparing lunch? Tell me about your vacation. Tell me about your vacation. It was very nice. Listen to exercise one. Did you go to Paris? No, we didn't. Where did you go? We went to Rome. Do exercises 2 through 12. You will hear the correct line after you speak. 2. We'll begin.
Did you get there by boat? No, we didn't. How did you get there? We got there by plane. Three. We'll begin. Did you stay in a big hotel? No, we didn't. What kind of hotel did you stay in? We stayed in a small hotel. Four. We'll begin. Did you eat in fancy restaurants? No, we didn't. Where did you eat? We ate in cheap restaurants. Five. We'll begin. Did you speak Italian? No, we didn't. What language did you speak? We spoke English. Six. We'll begin. Did you take many pictures? No, we didn't. How many pictures did you take? We took just a few pictures. Seven. We'll begin. Did you buy any clothing? No, we didn't. What did you buy? We bought souvenirs. Eight. We'll begin. Did you swim in the Mediterranean? No, we didn't. Where did you swim? We swam in the pool at our hotel. Nine. You begin. Did you see the Colosseum? No, we didn't. What did you see? We saw the Vatican. Ten. You begin. Did you get around the city by taxi? No, we didn't. How did you get around the city? We got around the city by bus. Eleven. You begin. Did you meet a lot of Italians? No, we didn't. Who did you meet? We met a lot of other tourists. Twelve. You begin. Did you come home by plane? No, we didn't. How did you come home? 
We came home by boat. Pronunciation Did you? Listen, then say it. Did you go to Madrid? Did you speak Spanish? Where did you stay? What did you do? Say it, then listen. Did you meet a lot of people? Did you have a good time? How did you get there? When did you get home? 